Hey everyone, this is Party22, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Chronicles of a Dark Lord, Episode 1, Tides of Fates Complete. In the last episode, we finished up the Tower of Infernus, we beat up the last couple of the bosses there, and we met up with our evil side. Apparently the Harbinger was, in fact, Magus himself. And, yeah, he did kind of destroy the Underworld, apparently. And now we ended up here in the Realm of the Fae. This is basically going to be essentially like the home base. As this is, in fact, the last part of the game. Now, there are a couple of the dungeons left. The main one, obviously, for the end of the game, which I'll get to at some point shortly. And there are a couple optional areas here. Which, one of them was included, I believe, in the main game. And one was actually added for the uh, DLC, which is the complete version of the game. Because it didn't actually come with the original. It actually was an add-on, I believe, as later on at some point. But yeah, this is the party where I am right now. However, I'm going to go ahead and make some changes at this point. Um, mainly, three of the characters are going to stay in my group. One person is going to be leaving at this point, and that'll be Aubriel. I no longer need her in my party. Because I'm going to put Isis back into my party. So put her there, and put Isis into my group. Now she is the uh, weakest. She did, not gain that she did not really gain level, so she's still weaker at level 25. So I'm going to have to do some fighting to get her back up to snuff. And, yeah, that could be an issue. However, we'll, we should still manage. Yeah, because her skills... She has most of the abilities she had before, though I think she did learn to stagnate off-screen, if I recall correctly. Because I don't think I, ha I had it in my uh, list last time I actually used her. So she has stagnate, and she has curier now. So she's actually ha she has all the cure spells, the same ones that Aubriel had. So it's kind of good to know for that. So yeah, she's good for spell-wise. What about equipment? Basically, she just has the Magi Staff, or the Magi Staff, or however you pronounce it. Now we are now in the realm of the Fey. Yeah, I pretty much will. Now, let you know right now, there's this town in terms of sp in terms of land mass is actually the biggest one we've ever actually been in at this point. But it has lots of good stuff here. First, weapon shop. Let's investigate that. We find the ambrosia again. Check all the pots. You'll probably find some very useful items here. Let's see. We have a high priestess staff. Let's get that for Isis. Phelan Blade, both of them, or two of them, let's just get one for Mage, one for Zyria. And let's see, Saber we don't need, Orphan we don't need, and Dagger we don't need. They would be useful for other party members should we actually use them. Right now we do not need that though. So High Priestess Staff. Yeah, get the armor later momentarily. Oh, I, I screwed up there, because I totally I forgot that we got the Blade of Black Death for beating the Harbinger. I just wasted some money. Let's put the Blade of Black Death to use. Look at that strength increase. It was like 90 increase. Let's put that on, shall we? Yeah, I'm going to sell... I totally screwed up about that. Yeah, so one 7,500 staring coins. I'm not gonna bother going ahead and uh, off-screening, uh, reload the save file and all that. I'm gonna live with that mistake. The end's way down here in the bottom of the bottom of the town. Again, check the well for an elixir. The armor shop. What do they have here? Uh, pretty good stuff. Phelan Mail, Helm, Shield, Gauntlet, uh, Earring, the Alpha Rope, High Priestess Band. I believe we're pretty much going to get all of this stuff. 
So let's see, Phelan Males. Let's see, we probably should, at least for the time being, get three of them. Although we could probably get away with two. Because we will be finding other armor in the next area of the game. Well, small spoil, I should say, that would be better. So I'm only going to get two of them, actually, upon consideration. Same thing for the helmets. Shields, Drea can't have it anyway, so only two shields. Gauntlets, let's get three of those. Let's get the earring for Isis, Alpha Rope for Isis, and the High Priestess Band for Isis. Wow, all my staring coins is pretty much all gone. So let's see, High Priestess Band, Alpha Rope, Zeronian, Zeronian earring. Yeah, I'm going to have to do some selling shortly. Yeah, it's pretty deep, pretty steep decline for the armor if you don't have the Phelan stuff, but... Yeah, we're going to find some stuff relatively shortly, so I wouldn't worry about it too much. And again, as per normal, sell whatever you don't need. You'll probably get a lot of money back in the end. Pretty good amount of staring coin after all our all the stuff here. I think I'm gonna keep that keep that side of Quietus. I think that's for Kedar for later, so don't sell that one. Stuff I have in my inventory is building up. I'm almost gonna have almost 100,000 staring coin again. I wish there was a quicker way to go up and down the menus though. I think that's actually pretty good to keep all this stuff. Okay, now, I had a couple items I wanted to use. Let's see, Estrian Potion for increasing match HP. I'm going to give that to Isis because she needs the boost. Uh, let's see, I don't want to use this yet, the Colossus. I want to hold on to that for the time being. Defense file, again, Isis, Isis, Intellect, Isis, Quick, Boost, Isis. Air, I'd say that's pretty decent. Let's see what else awaits us here in the realm of the Fae. Talk of the sheep. <laughs> Ooh, the item shop. Ooh, and the bear. Now, in this case, you'll want to make sure your HP is, um, full. You dare to destroy my children? You will pay for that! Ha 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 ha! You gotta sit on fire! If you look at our, our menu now... Yeah, look at your health! Magus... Zeria, Drea, and Isis, they're all pretty much dead. Isis is really close. I guess he has one HP left. So yeah, you're gonna wanna heal up after that for sure. And yeah, you can get in the item shop all the usual stuff. And this is another place where you can buy. And I mentioned this I believe a couple times earlier throughout the while playthrough here. The Estrian potion and Trinian potion. 
this is the place to buy them. Yes, this is where you can actually increase your HP and MP, uh, your stats right there for those two, uh, yeah, they're good. In fact, you're going to want probably to get the HP one for zero, not for HP one for Isis, and training ones for Zeria. And I have enough to get one stern, <laughs> through my stern coin collection right now. So I'm going to do one. Because I'm going to increase my max HP for Zeria. There we go. She is. Yeah, she even had more MP than uh, Isis did. Although Isis is four levels behind her. So, yeah, you know, definitely keep an eye on your Staring Coin Reserve. And if you have enough to uh, buy those potions, go ahead and do it. Now, at this point, seeing as my uh, I need recovery for my MP, I'm going to go ahead and stay at the end. Though it does cost 500 staring coins, it's not much in comparison to uh, the reserve I have at this point. You're going to want to go ahead and uh, visit each of the rooms, because I believe they have stuff hidden there, although not in the first room. Got a high potion. Got a Z potion. Let's see, what else can we find here in the realm of the Fae? Ah, here is a unique building. There is a slot that looks like it was made for a special key and some kind of ornate headdress. Do you wish to attempt to open it? But what the heck, let's go yes. None of the items in your possession have any effect. Yes, you won't be able to go in there until you actually beat the game. Because that was the place added for the DLC. So keep that building in mind for later, viewers. Emperor Major Sli and this cadre, welcome to the world of the Fae. This place exists in the plane that is far different than your own. Yeah, I can kind of tell it's all purple behind us. It is so quiet here. Hard to believe that the truest evil imaginable lurks just beyond our world. And also remember this spot for later viewers as well. The headpiece reads, Here lies Oriel Sati, the finest elder lady that the Fae has ever had. Hmm. Yeah, keep that grave in mind for later viewers. Let's see. Yeah, that's the building we're going to want to go on to last. Right there. Let's go in this building here. Resident home. Often mistaken for fairies, when the two real, really are quite different. Hmm. Not all fairies are the same. Many of us are very different from one another. Good to know. Anything in these? That I can uh, raid from your loot, raid your uh, shelves there. Got a full ether. I'll take it. Couple things left to explore in this town. If you go here, you'll see a little blue fire there. Now, before I interact with that fire, I'm going to save my game. Now you can talk. You can interact with the fire. I am what is called a memory fire. I can temporarily summon enemies from the past for you to battle at your convenience. Are you ready for battle? And we have a unique thing here in this game, which I really like a lot. There are pretty much bosses you can summon by accepting the challenge here. They can get progressively harder. And in fact, there is a hidden one right at the end that um, pre provides a unique challenge that unless you exploit a weakness of his, which I'll show you later on at some point, viewers, he will kill you quite easily. It is also an excellent place for level grinding. 
because you can just keep fighting them over and over and over and over again. And yeah, I can only like seven, ten thousand experience or more per fight. And if you have a strategy down, you can sometimes actually beat them pretty easily, given the fact they were pretty decent levels now at this point. But for right now, I'm not going to go ahead and fight them. And you'll notice here, it might be hard to see on some screens here, but there is in fact a little star or a little white speck there in this in the upper right corner. Now, be forewarned, this is going to kill you. Not kidding. Only those who possess the Naran Relic may enter. Do you wish to enter? Because I'd recently saved, why the heck not? The Naran Relic has shattered. It teleports us to the, to the Zadaron. And yes, this is all automatic here. So you must be prepared and you're probably not going to survive this fight unless you are extremely lucky and a bit higher level and have better equipment than I have. I will show you. Where are we? Ah. Welcome to the Zadaron, the place where we, the Janari, come from. So we got Terra, and we got Pyre. To dare come here was brave. That's Tempest, but foolish. And Morena, you will go no further. Yes, it is a fight against all four at once. Um. Told you. We are not going to beat this fight at our level. Definitely not. I think this is like intended for after we beat the game. Yes, so I died. Pretty um, savagely and quickly. So that's load, and it brings us right back to the fire here. Although you can get some pretty good stuff there if you're actually able to survive. And once you go in, I don't think you can actually go out or ever come back. So once you do, once you do beat it. So you gotta make sure that you are well prepared to continue with that. And with that, I believe that covers most of the uh, houses in this area. Although I think I forgot this one. The Abyss is coming. I can feel it even here in our world. Got an intellect boost, I shall give that to Isis. Anything up here? Nope. Alright, let's go on the big house there in the center of town. Let's forget that one. No, oh, already went in here. All right, believe it was up here. We are in the elder's house. Before we talk to the elder, let's raid his house. Anything of? We got phoenix tears. Nice. Got a piano. Oh, and I forgot to mention, too, when we talked to the bear earlier, I believe that's the last one we can find, and it actually unlocks the achievement. So that is uh, something to keep in mind there, viewers. And the treasure, we got a, I found a quicken scroll. Very nice. Alright, let's talk to the Elder. Welcome to our realm. I am the Elder. Elder, I am made to stra Draken Lee. Emperor of Kizareth Empire. Yes, I already know you very well, Emperor. We all do here. Many of us have followed you and your ex cohort's exploits, and we know well what has happened. Elder, it is good to see you again. Ah, Aubriel, you bring such light to my eyes knowing you're alive and well. Now then, to the business at hand, yes? The atrocity of the gods himself has been, really, uh, has been unleashed. 
the landmass you call Valdrace has been swallowed by the abyss as well. What can we do? The hour is late, but all is not lost. You possess the Corinthi, yes? Yes, we do. Now tell us, how do we use such a thing to reseal Zeon? In order to reseal him, you must bring the Corinthi into that portion of the abyss that exists on the material plane. Once there, you must find the altar of Zeon. Place the Corinthi on the altar and heed his words. It will allow you to reseal Zeon. I know the enormity of, such, of what such a task represents. I will leave you and your comrades to speak amongst yourselves. When you are ready, head for the statues of the goddesses. Danu and Abu Eka, I think that's how I pronounce it, in the center of this village. My pupil and I will invoke upon their power to send you into the abysmal realm. I will, I will await your decision there. So now it's another conference. Well, each of us has a choice to make. Whether to go into the abyss and confront Zeon or to stay here. This is a decision only you can make for yourself. We have come this far together, Magus. Personally, I'm with you to the end. Besides, I get to take on the biggest jackass of them all and kill him. What's to think about? I have not been with you all very long, though I know what is at stake and what must be done. The abyss must be stopped, here and now. I will fight to the end for Zelonia, for my family and for myself. Well, I hate cats. I hate them now because of one Antocalius. So, my decision? I will go with you into the all into the abyss. Chances are we'll run into that damn feline and I want to kill him. <laughs> well, let me see. This plan has a certain certainty of death and a very very small chance of success. I love this plan. I am damned excited to be part of it. Let's do it. While I do not show nearly as much enthusiasm as my counterpart here, I will go with you as well, Magus. I will be doing Queen Reina and Golden Horn at the service if I do not see this done. You free me from the control of the abyss. There is no way I can repay this debt, though I'm going to try by going into the abyss with you all. I have a score to sell of Xeon. There is no way I can say no to this battle. I must go. I cannot allow the abyss to swallow swallow up our world. I will be there, by your side as always. There is no way I'm not going. I'll be damned before I let the abyss have its way with our world. I've been here the longest besides Zeria and Magus. How could I go back to Ilion and face my wife and child if I did not see this through? I'm going. It is decided. We go. I want you all to know. It is an honor to fight alongside you. Sabra, I go to avenge you. Wait for me, Zeon. Alright, we have our, uh... We have our next task. So let's go ahead and... See what it looks like, shall we? Got enough time, I'll show it off a little bit here. Yep, yeah, there's the Elder Rep of the Statues, as he said. And again, you may want to go ahead and save your game. Have you made your decision? Yes, we are ready. Then let us begin. We must get you to the Abyss so that you may reseal Xeon. We of the Fae beseech thee, O goddesses of light and purity. By our hearts, by our souls, do we wish for these noble people to be brought to the realm holding the atrocity of the gods. Please aid us in this. So, we get zapped. And we get transported, it looks like, from the... Ra from the uh, Good world down to the abyss. Nice effects there. And here we are at the abyss. We must find the altar of Zeon. 
Now you'll find these crystals kind of scattered throughout the area. And if you need to save your game, you can do that. You can use the crystal shards. You can go back to Fey Realm or cancel. Right now I'm canceling. Now, I like this music a lot here, so I'm going to kind of raise the volume a little bit, or be quiet, mainly. I'm going to play for a moment. Yes, I think this music really suits being a final dungeon. And it is, it's the final dungeon of the main game. So yeah, let's go ahead and start our way through it. See a treasure there at the corner, and we got some, a new, another enemy here, Abysmal Behemoth. Now at this point, we can use pretty much most of the abilities here. Because they're going to be pretty close to your crystal, so you use your shards pretty easily, so you'll want to use your abilities. Looks like the Glory of Chaos didn't really do too much. Probably better with the uh, Infernal Slash next time. Let's see, does it turn on that Fury work on her? I'll work on it a little bit. That's some good damage there, Magus. There we go, that wasn't too hard. But yeah, even the random encounters here are going to be challenging now, so you kind of got to focus and you can't just spam attack. And yeah, 7,000 experience and 2,105 Saren coins. Mages and Ice is leveled up. Mages is level 30, excellent. Ice is 26. Again, you're gonna wanna make sure you're fully healed after every fight. What's in the treasure here? We find a Chaos Gauntlet. Now, I if you if you if you recall correctly, viewers, the p person who can actually use that or more most likely use that equipment is the Lady of Chaos, Zeria. Only she can equip it. Yes, it has better defense and better intelligence, so that's really good for her. Yeah, I was able to get the Phelan Gauntlet there, so from before, so I'll get rid of the extra one there if I want to. Or I can hold on to it and actually uh, equip my other characters and not have to keep swapping everything back and forth at all time. New enemies here as well. Yeah, these guys can do some damage now. These are just abyssals. Let's just do the blood drain. You're gonna need to heal up their Isis for sure. Get those more heals. Let's see about these ones. Yeah, that works. 12 and 13,000 damage. I'll take it. Yeah, even random encounters now can earn you almost 10,000 experience. So, yeah, and you're gonna need that to gain levels to beat some of the bosses. And basically, yeah, I get teleported to each new section. Let's see what else we can find here. Yeah, I'm, gonna, on purpose, I'm actually going to let the battle meter drain out because I'm trying to run low on time and I want to get a couple more treasures. Got the Mega Potion. 
Again, I want to save my game. Because there actually are spots here where you will run into uh, bosses through your, as you travel. Found the Staff of Shaddai. That would be for Isis. Centuries old staff used only by Shaddai's acolyte, which would be Isis. And you see your strength there goes up by pretty decent, and intelligence goes up by two. I'll definitely take that. And I forgot to mention too, if you probably saw that in the fights there a couple times, whenever she moved, protects against criticals and gradually recovers HP. That can be really handy. I found this Ronin earring. Although I already had one I bought one in town. But again, it's good to have extras. Got a treasure here, a full ether. And then the elixir. We're getting some pretty decent treasures here, that's for sure. Two more here. Got a mega ether. And an ambrosia. I'll take them. Save. Yeah, I can definitely see uh, this area can be definitely pretty draining on your spells. We go to another teleport here, and there is a crystal to uh, allow us the opportunity to heal up, which I'm going to take advantage of. I'm also going to save my game, and I believe this would be a good natural stopping point. So in this case, in the next episode of Let's Play Chronicles of a Dark Lord, Episode 1, Tides of Fate were complete, we will continue our way through the abyss and see what awaits us. So with that, this is Party 22 saying thank you guys so much for watching, and again, any comments, please leave them in the section below, and you guys have yourselves a great night. Alright, thanks a lot for watching. Bye.